man, I wish it was a little nicer out. Everything's a muddy disaster right now. Snow and mud, and I don't want to get this thing dirty. It's too nice. Practice from the track is smooth would be like heaven. My one last wish before I die would be to rip this thing around a freshly groomed Southwood track. These things are awesome in the sand. They have so much horsepower, they'll just glide right over the top. Man, if you can't win on this thing, that's the only problem with having this bike. If you don't win, you got nobody to blame but yourself. This is as good as it gets. This is the epitome of two-stroke evolution in the modern with modern suspension and all the best braking and everything you can possibly get. The best brakes, the best tires, the best suspension money can buy right now. Unless you go with a factory A kit or actual factory bike. This is as close as you're going to get. This is as close as money can buy to a factory bike. And essentially it, it is a factory bike. It's a two-stroke approved by Honda, service Honda, AF, AJ Wagoner, the guru, the godfather of the CR500s. This is his design, his baby. These things are awesome, and let me tell you something. The manufacturer will not warranty the frame on these after a year. I've seen AJ warranty frames that are 10 years old by guys that jumped these. Carl Leguia, a friend of mine, bought one of these. He had a problem with, with a frame issue. AJ warranty, warrantied it a decade after he bought it. No one else is going to do that. AJ's the man. Built500.com. Check it out. You can buy a brand new 2021 starts at around $21,000. I'm not sure how long it takes to get one, but uh, this bike has got close to $10,000 in upgrades and extras that you can't get. Let's bring it inside and I'll tell you what it's got. Feast your eyes, fellas. We've done it again. This one is over the top. This is a bike that you can't even buy. Some of the components are not available to the public. There's factory HRC Honda parts on this bike here. This is an extremely low hour service Honda, under 30 hours total ride time, and it's just been totally gone through top to bottom. Everything's fresh and brand new on it. Uh, and it's got a lot of upgrades. I guess I'll start with the, at the front of the bike and work my way back. Starting with the forks. This is a 2019 set of Shawa uh, twin chamber Honda CRF 450 forks that were set up by Active Ride Suspension for this application and the spring rate is set up for an over 200 pound rider so they're nice and stiff. Everything's brand new. It's a brand new set of forks, less than an hour ride time on the forks and they're set up for this bike. Um, going up from the forks, you've got a brand new Pro Taper handlebar with the American flag set up on here and then let's go to the controls. Guys, these are factory controls. These are HRC Honda edition uh, from the ARC company that makes these for the factory team. You can see they're safety wired. You can see it's a quick adjust. You can see it's a smaller profile than you can get for the public. It's lighter, smaller, and it has a totally different feel than the production stuff. The braking system on this bike is HRC factory, a master cylinder. It's the same master cylinder Ken Roxon would run on his factory bike. Going down to the caliper, take a close look here, guys. This is a Nissan factory Honda race team caliper billet made out of billet. You cannot buy these if you could. They would be obscenely expensive. It's valued at, at thousands of dollars for the brake system alone. It has a 270 millimeter rotor. Um, the brake system is off the hook. This bike, I'll talk about the motor in a minute because it's one of the best 500 motors I've ever ridden on. It's balanced perfectly. There's virtually no vibration on this thing uh, compared to a normal 500. Let's get into the hubs. W hubs. Uh, made by uh, W wheels, wheel set with kite hubs. These are the anodized red hubs. The wheels are the top of the line Takasago XL A60 rims, black uh, uh, rims with the uh, anodized spokes. It has brand new set of Hoosier tires, brand new tubes, brand new rim locks. Everything's brand new, including the bearings. Just top shelf. Heading to the top of the bike, you've got, uh, of course, your service Honda logo right here. Uh, CR500 AF. This is not an aftermarket bike put together with uh, old frames or whatever. This is a brand new service Honda ordered by from AJ with a 2001 engine. Now this engine, when AJ built these, you could still get the factory Honda components. So it's 100% OEM Honda internals on this motor. It's as good as it's ever going to get. And it's 
they, they say the Honda crankshafts, the OEM crankshafts and cases are, are, are the best. Some of the aftermarket ones like Hot Rod, I won't get into that, but this is the best you can get. Now, it's been improved dramatically. It has a decompression lever. I can kick this with sneakers. You push this lever in here, and that reduces the compression. It'll kick about like, a, like on a 125, kicks over, and then it, it automatically releases and goes back to standard. It's a Kian Air Striker carb with a uh, custom air box set up from service Honda to accommodate this carburetor. It's different than, than what the four strokes ran. The air box is modified uh, by service Honda. And if you look closely, if you zoom in right here, you can see that it's got a custom uh, Boyson reed valve on here. Yeah, I think you have to come around this side here to see it. I don't think you can get it from that side, but uh, if you zoom in there, you can see it's got the Boyson reed valve uh, and the uh, custom Boys Boyson reed intake. Going to the front of the motor, because the inside is all fresh Honda, original factory Honda. It's got an MSV exhaust uh, uh, port right here. I have that on all, all my CR500s. I think it's about a $250 upgrade. And that port gives you about two extra horsepower on the dyno. It's amazing. It just flows a lot better. You've also got the Pro Circuit Platinum Series pipe. And you can see there's no dents in the pipe. It's, it's a brand new pipe. Also came has the Honda, H, uh, Honda Racing Billet engine covers the uh all aluminum's polished on the cover on the uh, kickstarter the kickstarter is brand new there's no play in the kickstarter it's perfect and you can see the frames polished also look at these pegs guys these are hrc factory pegs i've been told the factory team it costs them upwards of three thousand dollars for a set of these they're, they're really not available to the public um it's just a uh, uh something you're not going to be able to get hrc factory Honda pegs, HRC factory Honda brake system, a 2001 motor in, on a brand new 2005 frame. Um, everywhere you look, there's this, there, there, it's got the works connection guard on the, on the uh, brake, rear, rear, brake, rear brake master cylinder, the red clevis. Um, the, zo zoom in on the swing arm here. There's no nicks in the swing arm, no dings, no dents. This was ridden in Mark's sandy backyard track with no rocks. Uh, Mark's a, uh, an amateur rider, a uh, big guy. He had to set it up. He's over 200 and I think he's like 200 and uh, I don't know exact weight, but he's he, it's set up for over a 200 pound rider, like a 200, 220 pound rider. It works great for me. I weigh 220. Um, the kite hub in the rear here uh, is uh, another W match set W kite hub with the uh, it has a braking rear rotor on here, uh, new pads. It's got a brand new chains and sprockets on there. This is a Takasago XL A60 rim running a brand new fresh Hoosier tire. Um, just a fantastic machine. Now, I've ridden a lot of, listen, if you follow us, you know I've been racing these since 86. I won the, the 500 shootout two years in a row, my 97, the 100 uh, yard drag race. I know how to ride these things. I know how they react. I've got probably more hours on a CR500 than, than any, anybody else you know. And um, this one here, the motor is, is awesome. It starts perfectly, it's carbureted perfectly. Mark told me, and, and Mark, Mark had three of these. He goes, this one here is my favorite. He goes, this one's, he, and I'll quote him, he goes, it's violently fast. It takes off like a rocket ship. Yeah, even, I don't think I went over half throttle going up the driveway and, and you heard what it sounded like. Um, just amazing. The seat cover is by Decor with the Honda. Uh, has the, um, the gripper seat cover here. Has the custom uh, hardware everywhere, the drilled uh, stuff. There's, um, custom breather tube now let's look at the the plastics and graphics on this the plastics are new the graphics on here were designed by steiger designs my girlfriend christy she this is a one-off you will never find another uh set of graphics exactly like these. these were hand drawn by by her they're totally custom the front number plate that she did in my opinion is the coolest front number plate i've seen it's just off the hook it looks like i don't know man like like team usa evil knievel i don't know it's just off the hook um, has the Honda Pro Racing decals on the front here. Uh, that's the new style Honda 2019 forks, the 2019 front fender, and a 2019 front number plate. Uh, the whole front end is state of the art, and it's and it's set up for this bike. The shock on the bike, uh, Race Tech has a relationship with uh, with uh, Service Honda, which is now built500.com. You can go on their website and check it out. If you want to order one of these new, AJ will be happy to build you one. The two, he'll build you a 2021 model. Uh, they started around 21,000. Um, you can have him build a frame and put a used CR motor in it uh, for a little bit less. Um, but he has a relationship with Race Tech. Race Tech was valving and springing these shocks for the 500 because this motor reacts a little bit differently in the four strokes. So that's a Race Tech shock. Uh, the graphics, 
So that's it for the suspension, front, back, everything, bearings, everything is perfect on this bike. There's no play anywhere on the bike. It is as factory fresh as you're gonna find in AF. Uh, the exhaust system, heading back to the muffler. This is a pro circuit, factory sound, stainless steel, race proven silencer. Um, if the factory teams were racing a CR500 today, this is what, this is what they'd have. This is, it, it, it's a thoroughly modern, badass, Look at the swing arm on this side right here. No, no nicks on the swing arm, no, no gouges. Uh, it's just brand new, brand new. Um, this side of the motor, you have the service Honda Racing ignition cover. You've got a hammerhead uh, heel, uh, shifter with the red um, anodized tip. It's 15 millimeters longer than stock, which is great if you got size 12 boots like me, because these are the, the stock ones a little farther back. Another factory Honda HRC peg with the factory Honda HRC mount. That's all titanium. Zoom in on there and ch check that out. You'll never see that on another AF. I don't think any other AF on the planet has th the kit that this has, the HRC pegs, the HRC brake system, and all the trickery this has. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, if you tried to buy all these components separately, the wheels, the tires, the, the, the 2020 or 19 forks, the pipe, the, the shifter, all the billet aluminum, custom accessories, uh, the hardware, the graphics kit, um, the uh, braking. You, you, you'd spend about 10 grand to, do one, to, to, to buy all these custom accessories and upgrades. This one's done, everything's done. It even has the works connection radiator braces on here, the aluminum radiator braces. Uh, the radiators look to be in brand new condition. There's no damage to the radiators from racing. This bike was never raced. It was uh, ridden in Mark's sandy backyard, and um, it's an absolutely stunning piece. If you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Junior, uh, would you like to add a couple words? Because I know you've ridden AFs, you've ridden uh, the Steelys. Uh, this is Mark's number one bike that was his, his, his best AF he had. What are your thoughts? I'm just speechless, guys. Bikes like this just aren't available for purchase today, and even the 2021s by AJ Wagner built 500 are. Um, well, I don't think you can get a, a date that you can actually get your hands on one, even if, even if you ponied up I, I, I think, I think and paid it, all the money. I, I think AJ could build one for you in probably three to six months. I don't know what the current turnaround time is. I don't think there's any in stock. Uh, they're all custom built. This one's ready to go. If you want it delivered down at Daytona for the amateur Supercross, or one of the motocross events down there, we can arrange to have this shipped to Daytona for Bike Week. It's ready to go. You can have it this weekend. You can have it next weekend. James will deliver it right down to Florida for you. Um, Junior's racing the amateur Supercross on his CR500. We'll be down there. Like to see on the line with this. Um, and uh, you know, if you want to get your your numbers on the graphics, if you get to us soon enough, we can even set it up with your own your own number kit on it because Christy's doing the graphics in house here. If you have any questions about it. Uh, give us a call. This is the best AJ Wagoner. He's the guru, the godfather, the, uh, the guy who made the CR500 what it is today in the aluminum frame, a thoroughly modern masterpiece. This thing is an absolute, it's, it, it really is modern art in my eyes, and it's a masterpiece, and it's absolutely stunning. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Love you all, and God bless the United States of America.